You would not believe my excitement when I opened up the container and then this is what I saw. This was the mystery beetle that had finally hatched after weeks of waiting. I caught this pupae in a rotting log while actually searching for queen ants. At first I had no idea what it was. It literally looks like an alien from another planet, but after doing some research, I figured out that it was most likely a pupae for some sort of beetle, which I did not know. This would be my first time ever trying to work with beetles, but I was really determined to try to raise this mystery pupae up and see what it would become. In order to give it the biggest chance of a success, I had to make it a home, so I used some cocoa courier and moistened it to try to mimic the conditions in which I found it. I plopped the pupae inside and then made a little bed out of the cocoa courier, surrounding it in order for it to retain the humidity and for it to not dry out while it develops into the adult beetle it'll become one day. I put the lid on the container, poked some holes, and then left it in the back of my ant shelf undisturbed for weeks. And after weeks of waiting, this is finally what came out. I could not believe my eyes at the size and the colors on this thing. It was a huge beetle, and even though I know there's some much larger beetles out there, this was definitely the biggest I had ever seen it in my life. I was so excited that I actually succeeded at raising the mystery pupae that I caught outdoors in my own home and watching it become an adult in front of my own eyes. I did not expect it to be this big or this color. I was absolutely fascinated by it. As you can see, our prediction about it being some sort of beetle was right, and it looks like it's actually a type of longhorn beetle. You can tell apart longhorn beetles from other beetles by, as the name suggests, their long horns, or which are actually their antennae. They have a super crazy look. You can see all the segments it has, and something particularly interesting about it is that through its exoskeleton, you can almost see something that looks like veins running through its bodies. And here we can take a closer look at the casing the beetle left behind when it emerged. I didn't actually think it would leave a casing, so I was pretty surprised when I saw that. Now working with ants, this was such a cool experience, because I had never seen something like this before so close up. At one point the beetle accidentally flipped itself over, which let me see its underside, which was super vividly colored, and you can actually see that the beetle's eyes go all the way around its head from the top to the very bottom. The mouth also has an extremely strong pair of jaws, which it tried to bite me with at one point, and here it is trying to climb up on the lid of the container. I was super excited with this and super happy that it managed to work out, and I got to get it all on video for you guys to witness. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and if you did, please be sure to subscribe. Next week, I go to an amazing butterfly exhibit where I see some of the largest and most exotic butterflies I've ever seen.